I guess one fight that I would also like to highlight from this card is, uh, uh, you know, one of the, in my opinion, one of the more exciting kind of mid-range contenders in boxing, India Smith, is getting a- another tough fight against Jenny Fuchs, undefeated prospect. India is just the kind of chick who shows up to every fight, man. She really lets her hands go. Got the win over Sulem Urbina last year, and I think this is sort of the reward for that, is the opportunity to fight on the zone in her hometown on a, on a nice platform. I think it makes a lot of sense too, because Jenny is also an LSU alum. So it's like you get two people who have the ties. Jenny's a really good fighter. I'm surprised Jenny wasn't picked up by top rank, given her relationship with Michaela Mayer. Uh, It feels like promoters are getting kind of stingy because we're getting close to that Olympic window where it's like, we want Olympians or bust. Right. Coming out of the Olympic class, I thought Jenny was one of the breakout stars of women's boxing. And it's kind of crazy how, there's not really a path for her just yet. Like I thought that you have someone who's battled OCD. uh, Very interesting story and really can fight. Very talented. One of the best of her generation. And yet she's struggling to get fights and she's having to sell tickets herself on the internet. And I just did not see this as her path at all. I I think this is an interesting fight, right? Because you're looking at someone who's a phenomenal amateur, who's a more talented fighter, but you're also looking at someone that's under the pressure of how do I make this a career fighting someone in Smith who playing with house money might not be as concerned with that. And they might feel they might fight themselves into the fight. They might think that it's Godzilla going in. And if you allow them a way to win, they're going to find the way to win. Oh, yeah. And and if you look at India's record, trust me, I've done two podcasts with her. This is not somebody who shows up to lose, man. That's why she beat Sulem Urbina, because Sulem gave her that little crack in the door, and she busted that shit open, bro. So if, if you give India the chance and you're not really sh- good at handling that pressure or that volume or, or any of that, she will win the fight, bro. Yeah, I mean, I just think Jenny just has a little bit more go in her. But I think that the shame of this card is this card should be a bigger deal. Yeah. And it kind of feels, and I'm no disrespect to Regis and Bobby, and I think the world of them, it's not indifferent that some of Jose Ramirez's fights where they feel like a little bit elevated club show, where it's a regional attraction fight. Yep. I like going to see Jose versus Comey, but let's be real, most of the world doesn't tune in for that. This has a similar feel to here's a great fighter fighting a fighter who's courageous and valiant, but probably not on his level. And here's some of the regional attractions in evenly matched bouts, but also fights that aren't going to really make a dent in the boxing landscape at large. Right. That's a really interesting way of putting it as a high level club show. I mean, listen, and to be honest with you too, man, like I wish he was fighting somebody at a Richard Comey's level. I don't, uh, you know, Zaria's really only had the one notable fight. We're not seeing him in with somebody who's like certified here. 